Hi, my name is Evan, and today I'm going to do a walkthrough of Asset Sonar Service Catalog setup within Zendesk. Asset Sonar Service Catalog enables end users to request services on the fly, reducing reliance on IT personnel. Users can also report issues on assets owned by them, ensuring timely pickup and resolution. Before we start with the setup, there are a few things to be mindful of. One, you should be an admin in Zendesk and an account owner or admin with elevated permissions in Asset Sonar 2. You have access to either Help Center JWT's API or Sunshine Objects in your Zendesk subscription. Three, during the setup process, we will be using a custom script within the Zendesk theme. You can find this script in the video description as well as the blog written on this very setup. Let's jump into the steps to set up the service catalog. First up, you will need to enable the Zendesk integration within Asset Sonar if this is not already done. Head over to the settings menu from the top right and under integrations, navigate to the Zendesk integration section. Click on get the app at Zendesk. Enter your Zendesk subdomain and complete the integration. Once the basic integration is enabled, check the integrate with help center and enable service catalog options. Click on update and we are done on this side of the setup. You will now find the service catalog builder under the more menu. You can set up all the service categories and services within them as per your needs. These will be exposed onto the Zendesk service catalog, allowing users to submit tickets against each of these. Let's move on to the second piece of our integration, which requires some setup to be done within Zendesk. In summary, we will be setting up the fields that are necessary to handle the flow of data between Zendesk and Asset Sonar. We will also be setting up a custom page that will ingest the service catalog items that you will set up within Asset Sonar. So let's get into it. Head over the Zendesk Admin Center and click on the field section and hit add field. We will set up a text field. I will be naming it linked item as this field will store the specific item in itself. Make sure this field is visible to end users and are optional. We will set up another field called service item request with an identical setup to the previous one. This field will carry the services that the users will request. We will be using the field IDs of both the fields that we just created. So feel free to copy them into a notepad separately. Now let's set up the service catalog custom page within your theme. This is where everything will come together. Head over to the guide admin menu within your help center. Click on the customize design button. Pick the theme you want to set up service catalog on and click customize. Hit edit code. Under the add dropdown menu, select custom page. Name this page service catalog. This cannot be changed for the script to function properly. Leave this page empty. Now, click on the document head file from the left pane. This is where we will be pasting our script for service catalog. Copy the script and paste it in this document. You will need to make three updates to this script. One, the ESO field ID. This is the ID for the linked item field that we created. Two, ESO subdomain. This is the subdomain to your asset sonar instance. Three, ESO service item request ID. This is the ID for the service item request field that we created. Now hit publish. We are done setting up Asset Sonar's service catalog within Zendesk. You will now find the link to access this service catalog on your help center. We will post a separate video on service catalog builder and how you can create services that are exposed onto Zendesk. Please feel free to reach out to support at assetsonar.com if there are any questions.